and it smells like... Oh. Rot in fish. We're on a whale! Ew. Ew. Gross. Disgusting. What is this stuff? This stuff, Gorby, is mucus. What's mucus? This stuff, Gorby. The same green stuff that comes out of your nose. Whale boogers? Ew. Uh-oh. Whales don't need to surface for long to breathe. They shut their blowhole and then dive back underwater. Inside, everybody. Whales are humongous. <gasps> Whale song. Wow. It's so loud. That's so the whale can be heard by other whales from far away. <sighs> I really hope it'll sing with us. Let's find out. Hello, we are the Polos. And we'd be honored if we could record you singing with us. You and your baby, how cute. Make a melody, it sounds just like a song to me. The song could be a warning or a friendly hello. High like a turbor, way down low. It's a language only whales can speak. Sounds like a song to me. Control. Though I think all that bumping did some damage. Audrey, what's our status? Hopscotch, mountain top, shindig valley. Yep, definitely some damage. But it's nothing I can't fix. Okay, which tools am I gonna need? A screwdriver? A wrench? Or whatever this thing is. Thanks, guys, but I got this. Beach time polos, you play, I'll stay. Yay! <laughs> if you say so. Uh, okay, scrubs there. Polo's a great engineer, but what if she can't fix the polo boat? <gasps> we'll all be stuck here forever! Forever! <laughs> stay calm, Chester. Get your mind on. Something else. <laughs> I got it! Oh, a beach ball! I love beach balls! <laughs> uh, this engine is totally seized. It needs a top-to-bottom rebuild. I found some spare parts below deck. I was saving these to build a dancing robot, but I can do that next week. Ready, Gorby? I got it! I got it! I, I don't got it. <laughs> Yay! Wow! Ah! Oh, the wind's really starting to blow. Ah, uh, the ball! Uh, all that clanking tells me you don't think any of these will make the engine work again. <sighs> nope, we need something else to get the polo boat moving. Oh. Ah. Oh, hey. 
Ah, uh, I wish the wind would stop. I don't. I'm having an engineering moment. Wow, a sail made out of palm leaves. That's brilliant, Willow. Thanks. Seeing the wind push those leaves around gave me the idea that a whole bunch of leaves could catch a whole bunch of wind to push our boat. The wind will press on the sail and make it puff out. This force will push the puller boat forward, and I'll use these levers to steer. Then it's Five Eye Island. There's an insect pushing a ball of poop. It looks like a kind of beetle. What would such a little thing want with such a big ball of poop? You don't think it's going to eat it? Ew. Ew! Uh, let's look it up. It's a dung beetle. Dung? What's that? Dung is another word for poop. And yes, it's going to eat it. Yuck! Why? It says here that whenever an animal eats something, not all of it gets digested. Some tiny undigested bits end up in its dung. And that's what dung beetles eat? Yes. They also get water from the dung. Okay. This time I'm going to say it. Yuck. Where's it going? Yeah. If they're going to eat dung, why not eat it right here? Yeah, there's plenty. They bury it so they can eat it later? And they lay their eggs in the dung balls. It looks like it's working really hard. That ball is huge in comparison to the beetle. Dung beetles are the strongest insect. It can move a ball over a thousand times its weight. That's like you pulling a school bus, Nash. Wow. But that's not all. Dung beetles help the environment of the savannah by burying and eating tons of dung produced by other animals. You mean they help to keep this place clean? Yes. Plus, flies lay eggs in dung. So by eating and burying so much of it, the dung beetles stop the fly eggs from hatching. So, fewer flies. That's amazing. Actually, dung beetles are amazing. Dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle. They've got a dirty job that someone's gotta do. They're small but mighty and they're tidy too. We're lucky there's a bug that's willing to lug around so much poop. They go to work every single day with a tumbling dance that looks like play. But if you had to do a job with poo, would you? Lily, wherever you find hermit crabs, you usually find shells around it, too. I hope so. Thanks, Chester. <laughs> nice. <gasps> More. Bye-bye. Bye, Nash. Ooh, these ones are pretty. <gasps> My shells? Wh where did they go? Mm -hmm. Huh? Nope. <laughs> Polos, have any of you seen my seashells? They're gone! Gone? No way! We'll help you search for them. Where's Nash? Uh, <laughs> ah. <gasps> right there. Oh, sorry. It's okay, Nash. We'll rebuild it later. We have shells to find. <gasps> Lily, I think we solved the mystery. 
Really? A hermit crab! Lots of hermit crabs! And shells! Yes, we found them! But why did they take them? Hermit crabs don't grow their own shells. They live inside ones that other creatures leave behind. Like hand-me-down clothes? Wow! What happens when one grows too big for its shell? It leaves it behind and looks for a bigger shell until it finds one that makes it a perfect fit. Interesting! Whoa, that's neat! <laughs> like we did trying on different sun hats. I love collecting seashells, but these hermit crabs need them more than I do. Enjoy, little crabbies! Need any help building your sand castle? Aw, that's nice, Lily. Definitely. Of course! <gasps> At least it has antler holes now. <laughs> Makes it a perfect fit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chester. <laughs> I think somebody else has found a perfect fit, too. Right, Hermit Crab? Does he mean no? I think he means no this time. But it's definitely a rock. Maybe he meant this. Hey, Nash, is this what you wanted to show us? No! This time he totally meant... No, I got it. Come on! <sighs> hey, Lucky! What is what? it? Look! Um, cool? Is that what you're trying to show us? Uh -uh. Then what did you want us to see? Snake! Swimming, swimming, swimming! You saw a snake swimming? Snakes don't swim underwater, do they? I've never heard of that. Me either. Maybe he saw a long fish. Or a piece of seaweed. <gasps> a snake! <gasps> it's a snake! Let's follow it! It looks like it's taking a breath of air. I'm looking it up. It's called a banded sea crate. It can't breathe underwater, so it goes to the surface for air. It must be able to hold its breath for a long time. Let's time it. Hello, hello, snake. Come here, snake. Oh, and it says the crate is venomous. <gasps> Nash, Nash. No touching. No, no, no. It's coming this way! Look out! Uh-oh! Right! Oh, I mean swim! Nash, watch out! Oh, I forgot to tell you. Crates usually avoid divers. They just aren't interested in us. I wonder why not. Well, they eat fish. And we're not fish. Let's keep an eye on it. There's plenty more to see down here. I get it. The color says, hey, back off. I'm poisonous. You don't want to eat me. These frogs are amazing and all, but what about the waterfall? Okay, okay, Gorby, we're going. Whoa! Hey, guys, look! There's tons of boys and dart frogs! Wow! Wow! Ooh, wow! And they're on the move! Where do you think they're going? Well, frogs are amphibians, and they like to be around water, 
So while the rainforest is a wet environment... A waterfall would be even wetter. You think they're headed to the waterfall? We can follow them and find out. Well, we couldn't be any more lost than we are already. So let's get hopping. These little frogs really stand out in the big jungle. Yes, but so do you. This way or Zaz way? Which way? Which way? I don't know, Nash. Look. Poison dart frogs. Follow the frogs? Follow the frogs! Come on, polos! <laughs> <laughs> What are those things? I think they're eggs. It looks like this is where poison dart frogs come to lay their eggs. They're so close to the water. The baby frogs, tadpoles? Right, tadpoles must drop off the leaves and into the water, where they grow up to become poison dart frogs. Cool! Poison dart frogs are amazing! Gorby, I told you we'd find the waterfall, and all we needed to do was follow, follow the, the frogs. frogs. <sighs> 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 